gain time to better understand the evil world and make sure that no one try to use it against us. If you refuse to cooperate, I will have no choice but to kill you. Do it already. Look, I'm sick and tired of hearing you complaining. That's all you have to say, then shut the fuck up. You guys, I'm freezing. Oh, damn. Cold blooded. Wait, that's in order, Nick. Wait. You know, not to be racist or anything, but. Explosives. Wouldn't it be better if you just grabbed that most Asian looking guy? This is too easy. I don't like it. Exactly. No, Aiden can't go through that. I thought so. Jody! Jody, what's happening? Whoa. That's a big fish. <laughs> Hauntings Good night, princess Is Nathan okay? When will I see him again? Oh. I don't know, honey he hasn't left his office in three days. Mm. He loved his wife and daughter more than anything in the world. But we can try again tomorrow, okay? Now you get some sleep. Ah, oh, she's rolling in the bed again. Whoa. Not cool. Okay, we're gonna do this sequence, are we? Alright, just wanna see if there's any... ...bonus stuff, as always. Ouch. Why oh, do I feel so slow? Man, if I saw like a bloody girl, like the end of the corridor, like that, I think I'll be freaking out like there's no tomorrow. You're very brave, Jody. Very brave. I think I already know what's happening. It's um, Nathan's daughter, I reckon. Which way do I go? I guess, whoa, that way. Oh, I don't like this at all. <laughs> mm. Let's go, Jody. Ah, oh, we gotta do this. There's Nathan. Oh, he's been drinking. I 
Okay, I think I know what's happening. Um, we're gonna be like showing. Well, the ghosts are gonna go through me and kind of show Nathan. What are you doing here? It's late. Go back to bed. No, I don't see the door anywhere. Okay, here we go. Okay, so this is where she first does it. Here we go. Don't be sad, Daddy. What did you say? It was so quick. Mommy couldn't do anything. But it didn't hurt. Stop it, Jimmy. It didn't hurt at all. You hear me? Stop it right now. We're here, Nathan. It's still right pretty creepy. Come on. Laura. We love you, darling. We'll always love you. Talk to me again. Jody. Make them come back. Make them come back again. I can't. They've gone. Please, don't leave me. Don't leave me. I missed him so much. Man, he looks so weird. I don't know what is what. That facial animation is, but doesn't look right. Black Sun. The active condenser in the Republic of Kazakhstan has been destroyed and the rift is now inaccessible. We are now the only nation with access to the infoworld. This situation opens up new strategic and military perspectives. Now we're going to launch new programs to discover possible energy resources and develop military applications. We've already found ways of linking entities to human soldiers, and this is just the beginning. Now, this is more important than the race to space or developing nuclear capability. We have discovered a new world. A world for us to conquer. This is the beginning of a new era for our nation. Pentagon top brass getting you down? McGrath makes me sick. Just a typical cynical asshole. You know, I would be doing the country a favor if I let Aiden take care of him. We played our part in all of this. I shouldn't have accepted that mission. 
I was only thinking about my freedom, and that was stupid. What are you gonna do now? I don't know. I think I need some time to... to figure it out. Figure out what I really want. <sighs> and what about you? CIA has it all mapped out for me. Top tier, big car, golf meetings. I mean, I haven't given him an answer yet, but it's worth considering. Listen. Jody, I... I know it's been complicated between us, and I, and I didn't always do the right thing. But maybe we could start again. You know, try and build something together. I mean, after all the stuff we've been through, maybe we could make it work. I'm, I'm not ready. I think I need some time. I'm sorry, Ryan. No, I understand. Whatever you do, just remember I'll always be there for you. Ah, there you are. Nathan's looking for you. Come on, I'll take you to his office. Later, Ryan. Oh, you know what? I got a single malt in my office that needs sharing. Meet you in a few? No, I, I don't think I can. Come on. Don't make me drink it alone. Waste of a good bottle? I'll tell you what, I'll find you, okay? <laughs> this way, Jody. Some decisions are hard to make, huh, Jody? Someone's always decided for me. It's time I make my own choices. Just do what your heart tells you. Then you'll know you made the right decision. Here we are. Call me when you're done, I'll come pick you up. Okay. Whatever Nathan says, be careful. And I just realized I've been silent the whole time. Great. You stupid mic button. How could you betray me like that? Oh, that was annoying. Oh well, we'll continue on from here. Come in! Oh yeah, you know he's turned super evil. Look at this place. Jody. So glad to see you safe. That's the Green Goblin. I kept my part of the bargain. Now it's the CIA's turn. As far as the CIA is concerned, 
You no longer exist. Oh. Thank you, Nathan. You're now Elizabeth North. No identity and no life. $500,000 for services rendered. That should help make a new start. Oh, I'm going to refuse it, aren't I? Take the higher road, right? Yeah. I'm starting a new life. I don't want anything that reminds me of the old one. Before you go, there's one last thing I'd like to ask. Oh, no. When my wife and daughter disappeared in that accident oh, 15 no. years ago. No, 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 no. I wanted to die, too. I cried a lot. He's trying to bring them back. Hanging my head. Against the wall, trying to figure out why, why, why them. Never being able to hold them again. It was like a wound that wouldn't heal. Yeah, he's he's tethering them here somehow. Then you came along, and I realized they were still here all the time, near me. I just couldn't see. What have you done? The government gave me everything I needed to study the infraworld. They were interested in military applications. I was interested in seeing my family again. It's taken me some years, but I finally succeeded in creating this. My God. Hello, my darlings. Helen. Laura. I miss you so much. It's the Green Goblin all over again. I see them every day. Soon we'll be together. I'm working on a modified condenser that can communicate with the souls of the infraworld. Speaking with the dead, Jody. Can you imagine? What do you want from me? I want you to help me talk to them. I want to hear their voices. I want to tell them what I'm doing. Until I finish my research, you're the only one that can do it. Reject? Reject? Give me your hands. Oh god. Why didn't I just press reject? They look like they're suffering. But I guess it's better to hear it from them than from me. Alright, into the mouth. Between two worlds. That's not true. You're lying. I know they want to be with me again. I know they want to be with me. Don't I have reason. You're suffering, Nathan. If you love them, 
If you, if you really love them, you've got to let them go. You can't cheat death. Cheat death? Death is nothing. You hear me? Nothing. Goodbye, Nick. you find peace. Like I said, Green Goblin all over again. going to do hello lady getting in my way no oh, I should I should have checked on on Nathan before I left but I'm pretty sure I can't go through this okay no we walked too far screw it I'm just gonna leave for that let's have one more look on this okay we're not gonna have a look on the condenser <laughs> We're just gonna leave. For you know, for defense laboratory, you think they'll have um, key cards or bio scanners for the elevator access as well as door access. Okay. What the shit? Hi, Good, Good to see you again. Spit on his face. <laughs> well, you put us in a very difficult situation, you know that. We can't let you go. Yeah, figured as much. We can't kill you either. We don't know what you'll do on the other side. So does anyone an appropriate solution? We inject you with a neuro acid, which will put you in a permanent coma. Exactly what we did with your mother. You son of a bitch. A simple and elegant way to put an end to our uh, collaboration. Goodbye, Joey. Yeah, I'm going to say that to your grave. You will always be grateful for your help. You piece of shit. I haven't been injected yet, have I? Jody. You opened my eyes. It was so obvious, but I didn't want to see. What? I'm going to accomplish man's oldest dream. Nobody will have to die anymore. No one will ever be separated again. Going to deactivate it. The infraworld will spread through our dimension. Life and death united in one world. It's not just souls on the other side. It's death. I've beaten death, Jody. Everything's gonna be just fine. You need to trust me. No, you need to trust me. They're gonna turn out fine. What did I say? Green Goblin all over again. Alright, let's try to get you out of this, Jody. Okay. We guide in. That's a lie. I'll find a way. Find something else. Copy that. Let's um, try to find a knife. Or a person. If we can. 
No, we can't. All right. Ah, the IV bag. Oh, it's not a bag. That's. What is that? Is that pumping Get the home. acid? Hurry. I wonder if I can get um, Cole or Ryan to help me. Because they're still drinking, right? Where's the rest of your team? Vince and Nick? <laughs> they have three months leave. They're on a beach on some exotic island, no doubt. Lucky bastards. Anything yeah, I can I've got a couple of emails I need to send. You mind if I do that before we crack the bottle? No problem. Aha, uh -huh. okay, so which one shall I mess with today? I should be smart about it as well. I say emails. Alright, knowledge it is. Really? Really? Really, guys. Alright. Really. Really, guys. Really. Oh, I'm getting weaker. Yeah. You keep entities in this lab? There we go. God, no. They're all trapped behind the containment field. Come on, Ryan. Aiden? Yep. Right is it you, Aiden? Yep. If this is a joke, it's not funny. Why not would Aiden be here without Jody? What is it, Aiden? Where's Jody? Lead us to Jody, Aiden. Show us the way. Oh, if I can only build stuff. Right. Now where? Uh Yeah. This way. That just kind of works. It's kind of cool. Over there. I feel like Skipper, the dog. <laughs> oh no, not Skipper. Lassie's the dog, Skipper's the kangaroo. Yeah, that's it. You want us to take the elevator? Is that it? Mm-hmm. Come on. Hopefully we don't have to make a choice between the condenser and Jody. Shit, a guard. Leave it to me. Can I help you? Cole Freeman, I have level three authorization. He's with me. Mm. I'm sorry, Mr. Freeman. You do not have the correct authorization for this level. Really? Maybe you could make an exception. I just want to show him. Sorry, sir. This area is level four classified. You do not have the right credentials. Oh, we can make this you gotta credentials. Get us Um, fine. Desk 42, hello. Hello? Hello? There we go. He's done it. Damn right I've done it. Let's go, peeps. I think you made a mistake. Could you check again, please? 
Cole Freeman, and Ryan Clayton. I'm sorry, you are on the list. My apologies. Yeah. Um, go on through. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Hurry, Aiden. Take us to Jody. <laughs> he just says that out loud. <laughs> and the guard's like, meh, whatever. Alright, let's see. Ah, beautiful. Something moved. Yeah, because it's this way, guys. That's it. Right. Now where? We should probably not um, break glass. It's a bit too suspicious. Right. Jody's here. Mm-hmm. Come on now. Jody. Get down. Get out. Oh. 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 Nathan. He's gonna deactivate the containment field. What? Why? Why would he do that? He's gone insane. He thinks he's gonna get his family back. And we gotta stop him. Oh. Oh. The containment field. Oh Christ, he's done it. He's done it! You need help? No. No, I'm okay. okay. Alright, let's get out of here. Well, or reactivate. Hurry up! Don't stay here! We gotta we gotta back in this now! Whoa. You think they'll have like um, preventative measures or backups? It might still be a chance to reactivate the field. It is not ready to lead. Once again, where's the backup? Where's the Jesus? Oh, they're all out Whoa. Oh. Oh. We killed him! We can't hold him back! Oh, no. I can say, where's the fail safe? Jody, you're the only one who can stop this. Doc, it's a fuck off. You gotta get rid of these goddamn monsters now! I ought to kill you, McGrath. But the last thing the info world needs is a son of a bitch like you. Get so, out of my way. Clayton! Get me out of here immediately, Clayton! Clayton, Clayton! That's an order! Yes! <sighs> Consider that my resignation. You're all gonna die here. We're all gonna die. Man. Should have done that ages ago. Oh man. Okay, relax. I just wanted to see. Alright. It's not working. I can't stop the condenser or reactivate the field. There's nothing we can do. Let's get out of here while we still can. Wait. There's one more thing I can try. I'm pretty sure we're supposed to go this way, guys. Hurry! We're out of time! We're in here. What are you doing? It's a portable containment field. Should protect me long enough to reach the condenser and trigger the manual self-destruct. Might be our only chance to close the rift. It's a long shot, but it's the best I got. Come on, you're talking crazy, Cole. We need to get out of here, let the military clean up their own fucking mess. No, Jody, you're gonna cut me off if you wear that. Jody, right. no. Paul's right. It's our only chance. Is it? <laughs> right? 
I always figured I'd die a hero. Okay, I'm liking Ryan now. So there's no telling what we'll find down there. How much time do we have after we've activated the self-destruct? The system was designed to be activated remotely. The explosion will be practically instantaneous. What? We're not coming back. Oh. You know. You should have mentioned that before we got in. Right. Don't attract attention or we're dead. Okay, okay. Fine. The condenser zone is on the other side of that door. We've got company. Well, they haven't seen us yet. It's our only chance. Jesus. I hope you're right. Or our little trip into the info world might come to a sticky end. Go, go, go. Joe, don't get too close to them. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. Let's go. <laughs> well, he did. Go, 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 go. Oh. I just saw the button commands. Woo. Made it. Um. Am I supposed to... There we go. Oh. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Fuck! Tony! They're coming! Nah, we're gonna save Cole. Come on, Cole, run. Please. Bring Aiden out. We can save him, right? There we go. What? Aiden has done all he can. Someone who's dead. It's like pretty got a stiff call right there. Not smart talk, let's do this. The black sun. Let's finish this. Oh, 
Oh, it's pretty crazy. Look at that. I mean, do we even know what we're supposed to do? These lost souls are always sad. There should be like a happy one, an angry one, a mischievous one. You know, mix it up a little. My baby. I lost my baby. Have you seen him? No. No. I, <laughs> I don't feel so good. <laughs> The hell, where did Ryan go? Maybe got dragged off by all the people he killed. you anymore your anger has changed you I miss them I miss them so much reason let me pass Nathan the condenser must be destroyed you know it's the only way He's not going to shoot himself, is he? Oh god. Oh, I missed you. I missed you so much. Quick, tell me how to deactivate this thing. You're the only one who can fix this, Jody. Do it. Do it for me. Jody, fuck, there you are. What happened? He found what he was looking for. Come on. Damn it. Where the hell did you go, Ryan? You literally just <laughs> disappeared. Man, how big is this thing? He dead. Whoa! Jesus, I didn't think I had to actually do anything. Oh! 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 So close. Whoa, 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 whoa. This sequence is not over yet. Let's go. Come on, Jody. Pick up the pace. How is Ryan not dead from all this? Oh. And where the hell is Aiden in all of this? Fucking monsters! Without these damn bells, we'd be dead. My containment feels not working. What? You sure? Check the panel. Telling you it's not working. Fuck. 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 I gotta think. I think of something. Come on. Fuck. Here. Come on. What are you doing? You 
stand the best chance of destroying the Black Sun. Just take this no, and no, do it. No, no, those things are gonna slaughter you. Take the damn bell and destroy the fucking condenser. Get out of here before I change my mind. <laughs> to die like a hero, eh? Alright, Jody, no pressure, but now you gotta do it for two people. Come on. Come on. What? Don't tell me I didn't get it. Get your filthy hands off me. We inject you with a neural acid. Put you in a permanent coma. Exactly Fuck. what we did with your It's too oh. late, Jody. It's too late. Never too late. Come on. We're almost there. Come on! Sorry, buddy. Come on! She's a slut and a witch. What do you do with witches? Burn. Get off me! Hey, I'm getting younger. What exactly is the Black Sun? I'm oh. sick and tired of your stories! This time you're really gonna get it! Oh, piss off, you stupid souls! Our souls were bound together. Oh, he naked. I loved you. And hated you for years. You were a part of me. I just got the chills. <laughs> oh my god, I got a choice. I've got a choice. 
Oh, which one to do? We get a choice. Alright, I'm assuming the, the lighter side is life. And the darker side is death. Or the infra world. And I make a choice here. I already made the choice. I'm going to go continue living, obviously. Because that's... You know, he's, he's still she still has a long life ahead of her. Whether Aiden's there or not. And what did I say? I freaking called it. This movie must have taken inspiration from that either French or Spanish horror movie. I freaking called it. Alright guys. I'm choosing left. And as um, Joker always puts it. He's Heath Ledger's Joker. And here we go. Another sign. Another world. Coming the wind, the stars, the universe. Being with Aiden and those I've loved forever. Oh, so it's not a choice, you just get to see both sides. Living, feeling, being in love. I love you, Jody. Growing old. I love you. So many things I still have to do. Of course, I choose life. <laughs> I'm going to choose life. It's not your time yet, Jody. Did a journey. Aiden? We made it. Jody, we made it. Aiden? I don't think Aiden's here. Or if he is, you're disconnected. Alright, let's see. Percentage. Alright, so 62% refused or pro postponed Ryan's de declaration. Oh, so they still had resentment for, against Ryan. 
78 percent heat healed coal yeah I think that's pretty much standard it's part of the gaming uh, main pathway I would say Ryan survived oh okay so Ryan could actually die in this good to know uh, Wow 82 percent chose life I thought there would be a little bit less percentage on that, but yeah, wow, 82%. Alright, so only 30% refused the CIA money. So that's um, when Nathan um, gave him the envelope. 75% convinced Dawkins took his own life. I wonder what the other path is. And 96% shut down the Black Sun. Oops. For obvious reasons, once again, it's like the main pathway. So not too ex um, unexpected. But yeah, 82% chose life. I thought it would be a bit more of a 50-50 split on that one. Or maybe like a 60-40 split where more people would choose life. But an extra 22% out of my expectations. Interesting. Epilogue. Ever since the Black Sun was destroyed, my memory has been disintegrating. I spent too much time on the other side. Now it's eating away at my mind, erasing what's left of it. My memories are all confused, slowly self-destructing, fading like a dream when you wake up. I'm losing my sense of time. I no longer know what happened before or after. Everything's playing inside my head at the same time. It's like watching the same film looping over and over again. A chaos of images with no order. So I've been writing night and day for weeks. Trying to put my life down on paper. If I forget everything, these pages will be my memory. Three months after the fact, the investigation continues in an effort to determine the cause of the accident that cost 283 lives on a Pentagon military base. Government representatives confirm that the authorities are working hand in hand with the investigators to shed light on this appalling tragedy. The CIA is leaving me alone for the moment. I suppose they're too busy building another condenser to worry about me. I know they'll never abandon their experiments, now that they know what's on the other side. Honestly, I don't give a damn. Now I need to reconstruct my life. My life without Iden. For as long as I can remember, I dreamt of living without him. Untied, without his constant presence by my side. I got what I wanted. I've never been so unhappy in my life. I feel like part of me has been amputated. Crying all day. I know it's stupid. Shit. I miss him so much. Wait. Cole survived?
took months. Months of nothing passing by. And I woke up. I knew it was time. Time to start again. To build a new life. Oh. I didn't know there was a choice at the end like this. Okay, so... We got a loan, Zoe, which was the um, the pregnant lady that gave um, birth to Zoe, and she was living in the like underneath the bridge as like a you know a homeless person, but I think she got her life back together. We got Jay, who was in was part of the Navajo Indian American Indian tribe, who was. Tending the family farm of, sh uh, I guess, sheep and horses. And then we got Ryan, CIA dude, who turned out to be shit, like a total shithead. And then through the end, we kind of, well, I kind of liked him better and better since you know he he finally found his finally stood for his moral grounds. You know, no longer being an asshole, being told what to do, even though he knows it's wrong. That kind of thing. Oof, this is half. This is tough. Well, I know I won't go for Jay because there wasn't much chemistry going there. Zoe would be kind of nice to kind of get together again since Jody was a helping hand in giving birth to Zoe. And Ryan still has feelings for her, and the way we played the story, she was like, ah. Oh. I need to think about it. So I'd rather her not alone. You know what? I think I'm going to do... We're going to do the whole roundabout nonsense. You know, hate the dude, like the dude. That kind of nonsense. I'm going to go with um, Ryan. Let's see what happens. It was so obvious. Deep inside, I, I always knew. I just needed the silence around me to hear what I was feeling. It took me a while to realize how much I love them. I'd been alone and sad for so long. I'd, I'd forgotten what it was like to love someone. No. That still looks weird to me. <laughs> it's like eating his bottom lip. Of course, nothing wrong with biting. Oh, it's a happy ending. We traveled as far away as we could. I had to learn to love again. To put my trust in someone to stop fighting and running away. In short, I had to learn to live. Ryan and I never talked about it again. As if it all never happened. As if the other side didn't exist. Hmm. As if it could never come back into our lives. Oh no. It's starting to sound like it's not a happy ending.
No way. Is Iden still here? That is so cool. Oh, that is so cool. I like that. I like that Aiden's still around. I see things at night. Uh, what? Terrifying things. I tell myself it's only nightmares, but... I know it's not true. Once Pandora's box is open, it can never be closed again. No. It's not nightmares. It's what is about to happen. I've died twice already. I'm not afraid of death anymore. Memoriam, normal combat. Next time, I'll kill everyone. My God, I was so afraid I lost you. There's no telling what we'll find out How much time do we have after we've activated the self destroy? We're not coming back. It's Saturday night, and I'm locked up in here. Can't do it, babe. She's more than amazing. She's magnificent. She's getting away! Wait, what? Was, what? Was it two? Two Jodies? Just then? Oh my god. Okay. This game was pretty cool. I'll admit it. It was pretty cool. I ain't gonna lie. So as with all um, games that I finish, as soon as the credits finish, I'll give you my, I guess my initial raw review. And we'll see um, how I feel about this game. So stick around to the end, and I'll tell you my thoughts. And for everyone that joined on board this game, this stream, and this video, Thank you, it was actually, it was fun, it was a lot of fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too.
All right, let's see. So 40% chose Ryan. We already know the other path. First path is um, alone. Another path is Zoe. Another path is... Um... Wow, I already forgot his name. <laughs> but there's one more path. So that's interesting. So there's a fifth hidden path that I don't know about. Interesting. Okay. That was it. That was the end. Downloaded co download content. Now let's go to straight to bonus. Ah, there are a few that I missed out. Not not too many, so so I'll be talking about now I'll be talking about the um I guess my review of the game since I finished it from my blind playthrough. So I have to say in terms of graphics, because it is an older game, it, it's it wasn't too bad actually. Um still it kind of holds up but not really cuz they didn't put too much effort I mean they put a lot of effort in some of the scenes you can definitely tell they put on like the little nuances the motion cap or the mocap and uh, the facial um, animation designs have been worked up on some scenes which there were there were extreme close-ups then they worked on it but when it became a bit more distant a bit more profile and further back it you can kind of see it not being animated as well I don't know if it's because they took it directly off the actor's or actress's face motion cap or they just didn't think anyone would notice it. So there were some moments like that, like especially when um yeah, when Jody was young and she has a scene where she's screaming, uh the eyebrows are like all neutral, like what you see on the screen right now. So it was neutral, but she's supposed to express like um like real fear and stuff like that but it's not not a worried stance eyebrow that kind of thing it's just those little things that i'm picking up on that they i reckon they could have worked on because they like if we had to compare it to another game that's i'm comparing it with last of us um uh, again last of us remastered version so obviously i can't you know compare apples and oranges but at least um, just for examples for Last of Us, they actually went in and animated, in the remastered version at least, they animated each and every facial scene, which was crazy. So, another thing I wanted to um, put forth is um, the plot, the storyline. You can get a basic gist of it, like, it jumps back and forth, back and forth. But the problem I find is that Jumping back and forth is not a bad idea. However, there are some segments where it doesn't really connect. And because of that disconnect, it kind of ruins the story a bit. Like, you want to have, like, one major path that's really kind of obvious to the player or the viewer. And it kind of um, branches off. That's what you want. You want, like, a tree with branches instead of having, like, almost like two almost I would say three segment areas where it jumps back and forth which connects well but then the rest is a bit, bit of a disconnect now they try to tie it all in together at the end where she's explaining like she's just trying to remember things but it's all jumbled up all playing at the same time kind of thing which is to me like a kind of like a bad cover up for that type of um, jumping back and forth I reckon they could have just been a bit more artistic with it and actually kind of... It's like sewing. You can sew back and forth, but when you pull the strings together, it should like line it all up kind of thing. I know it's definitely tricky to do that, but I think they could have done it if they just worked on the storyboard a little bit harder. That's why they have the remix mode. I mean, obviously, the remix mode would play you in a chronological order instead of jumping back and forth the only reason I played it back and forth is because I wanted to see the artistic and the developers um, vision and direction and I have to say overall it wasn't bad the plot was pretty simple um, pretty much you can tell who's the good guy who's the bad guy I kind of called some of them off 
uh, some other ones I didn't quite catch, but you know, I was just trying to name out all the cliches, and it definitely seemed to have gotten that um, how should I say inspiration from the horror movies that have like uh, children involved. Like I remember this Spanish or French movie when I called it that Aiden was the brother, like the long dead brother kind of thing. Like that was definitely from this one movie. It was one of those um, international movies I saw. Where it was like s- similar concept, except it was a lot more scary at the beginning because there was you just couldn't understand why the ghost was like throwing things around or doing these things. But then near the end, it kind of just shows you that the the dead was just trying to communicate, and it's just their way of communicating. And then they kind of understand each other, the kind of thing. But obviously, these guys took it a different direction because it is supposed to be a game now like with any david cage games like indigo fahrenheit you can definitely see there's a he hasn't let go of that he hasn't not he refuses to let go of that 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 scene where you're you're playing the homeless jody and you're walking through that snowy city that reminded me of indigo uh uh was it fahrenheit or indigo prophecy Reminded me of that game a lot. So there's still like a playback. Maybe it's an homage to an older game. In terms of audio, the audio design and uh, creation was, I would say, pretty standard. It didn't really um, surprise me here or there. It, everything sounded pretty okay. It, some, I think, was some stock standard sound as well, which kind of um, dilutes the game's quality a bit, I reckon. But definitely not a bad, uh, not a bad thing. I have to say that uh, I would have liked if there was a bit more of a mixture between Jody and Aiden, because it really feels like you are playing. Like near the end, it really looks like you're trying to get Jody to be the main player, but then you got you've been playing with playing as Aiden or Aiden for the longest time, and it kind of like I think I didn't think they do, did it too well because I kind of felt separated. From the story a bit when I'm trying to choose her over Aiden, maybe it could have been done better. I I can't think of a way you could have done that better because I'm comparing with other past games that did this. There was a old Nintendo game where like you're like a super soldier but you're a spirit, and I like their mechanics in terms of like getting all the spirits involved, like the spiritual um. The hauntings and the powers because at least in their uh, gaming universe it made sense like the mechanic was you have to scare the enemy before you can possess them or do anything like that uh, yeah, just to possess them that's pretty much it but everyone but in this it's like they've put select key uh, enemies that you can only possess or only kill which kind of really ruins the gaming mechanic I reckon I reckon they should have given you the opportunity to either kill or possess but obviously they can't copy the game mechanic because of copyright issues but I reckon if they went through that route it would have been a much more better game than just like a movie cinematic experience so I want to talk about the camera view as well uh, it's good how it trails behind it's especially good and I'm telling you especially good during this this chasing the the forest chasing like the camera was on point it was the shaky camera it was always like a wide shot showing you the scenes uh, giving you enough visual cue as well as the lighting through which was amazing I think at least I think anyways which I thought was very cool and very well done that's probably the highlight I reckon in terms of um, enemy AI it really isn't much once again it's more like a rail like there wasn't too much deviation that you could do Obviously, there are other choices. I think that was a really good game mechanic where they actually show you the percentages at the end to show you like what the other players, like comparing you to all the other players that played the game. I think that was really cool. I'm trying to think. So in terms of music, uh, music was, again, substandard. Pretty good, but just like slightly above average. Uh, I can't really talk too much about the music because um, I all I can say is it was strategically placed and it was very well done, but nothing like 
crazy outstanding. Oh yeah, I remember this scene. Apparently there was a jump scare in this scene and I missed it completely because I wanted to get out of there as soon as possible. So in terms of replayability, I think it's no, well, maybe not up there in terms of replayability. So I'm still talking about the gameplay. Um, it would be nice to come back to it and actually play it again. But I think the great thing about the gameplay is the chapters. You can actually go back and just play the exact chapter that you want that you've played, and you can see what the different um, decisions are as well. Which I think is more games need to do that, and this game puts it on point. That's something really great about this game. So I went into this game knowing it's like a David Cage game, so I didn't expect too much in terms of um, gameplay mechanics, but he definitely improved upon it. Uh, it's a bit not as intuitive. I reckon what he should have done, and this is just from a, a gameplay mechanic, is the joystick should have had really four to eight directions, or four to six directions. So you place your character in the center so you can have a clear view of which direction um, Jody's gonna move and you just have to press that direction or roughly in that direction for the corrective action because there's some moments where because of the way the camera is panning and the way Jody's moving you think you would go the other way but it isn't and then you kind of make some mistakes here and there it might just be me but that's how I see it Oh yeah, also limiting um, Aiden from going too far from Jody. I think that was, a, that was a brilliant idea. Let me see, I went through gameplay, audio, visuals, as plot. I think that's pretty much it. I, I don't think there is anything much left to say about this game. I think it gives you a lot of uh, options to play it again, a lot of options to play certain chapters again, which is great, especially for someone like me who wants to like replay certain uh, missions just to see what it's what it's like and also in case I lose footage I just can replay that same level as well. I guess my only complaint with these type of games is that there's just not enough gameplay and that's the only thing I can really complain about. I'm definitely going to try to come go back and find all the missing pieces. In terms of the Navajo, um, I think that was good that this story plotline was good that it was there because it kind of ties into the game's universe that these uh, entities do exist and we've known them for a long time and we're only now rediscovering it. But the other thing I think they kind of missed is that they could have, yeah, like this scene, they could have actually um, may have given a little bit of explanation of what these creatures are. We know that there's some kind of um, spirit that was um, called in and summoned to take care of the, the white people that was invading their land. And then it came back and pretty much killed them because he wanted blood. Which is a great story, but I think that they should have put a little bit more instead of just having like a generic bad guy. Because I think by now we should have gone beyond the generic bad guy. They should have some kind of like a backstory structure which gives them a bit more a gray instead of a black and white. But that's just like, that's just more story development and stuff like that. It's definitely a missed opportunity in my opinion. But I do like the, the family element, which is really cool. Oh, there it is. Jay, that's his name. And another thing is um, I, and the, the homeless component was really good as well. Um, I just wish there was a bit more instead of that whole, um, like, obviously the, the hard emotions uh, in terms of like, um, suicide, that kind of thing was touched upon there, which was kind of threw me off because it wasn't like I know she was running away, she's tired, but they could have built it up a bit more, and that's the problem with jumping back and forth. You really need to build up that backstory 
quite quickly but leaving the foundations of the actual character. I think they could have done better but it was a bit, um, it threw me off a bit and I don't think that was a uh, wise decision in terms of that uh, showing the those components. I have to say in terms of character obviously besides Jody Nathan <clears throat> which was good but uh, what's his name Ryan was not too bad either like he was your typical like he initially becomes the tip he actually becomes a typical stereotype hero arc which is he's an asshole but then he becomes better because he overcomes the whole um, the whole military structure and discipline that has been so structurally in and I think that's a good arc because it kind of does persuade well it persuaded me to like go down his path rather than um, Jay which we didn't have much of a connection so there's another missed opportunity I reckon there should have been a bit more chemistry during that component because he did play the hero arc as well in in Jay's um, storyline so Jay was like fully defensive <clears throat> did not like Jody at all but then slowly warmed up to him because she did something to impress him but then it didn't go anywhere further than that it was just like boom straight away this and boom straight away that they kind of had like a a segue where the younger brother liked Jody you can definitely tell like he has a crush on her but Jody liked the older brother and but there was nothing where that went beyond that which is I reckon a missed opportunity because if you want someone to make a choice in your game, now I'm talking as a gamer again, not as a developer, but as a gamer, if you want someone to make a choice, you want them to make a hard choice. You never want them to make an easy choice. That's key number one. Never ever make the make the player make an easy choice. Like, oh, if you do this, you get rewarded. Instead, you should give them a minimum of two choices, which they get rewarded for each path whether good or bad and the best part about it is if it has both if it has sacrifice the only way to move forward is through um, change and sacrifice then that would definitely make the player think twice before making decisions obviously there's a time limit to make the decisions which kind of gives you that artificial artificial choice thing which I don't particularly like I mean, you can use it skillfully, but I'm saying in here it was a bit... I reckon they could have ex maybe extended that time limit a bit longer. I do like how they automatically choose for you, so they, if you did the run, you can just purely see how the vision of the developers and the writers, how they would have actually done it. Which would be interesting. Yeah, Ryan Clayton. Wasn't too bad. Do you know of Clayton? <laughs> So yeah, there's a lot of scenes with Clayton. That's why I think a lot of people went with, uh, down the road with Clayton. Or Ryan. But yeah, uh, once again, if you want to make them do the tough, especially in the ending choice, you would want them to have a difficult choice. Like You don't want them to be like, oh, I'll just choose this person because... I spent the most time with this person, therefore I got to know that person most. Instead, if we had spent equal time building that backstory, it would have been a lot better. Or, they each have equal time, so it gives them the difficult choice. But yeah. Ah, oh, this was the sexy shirt. <laughs> I remember this shirt. <clears throat> but yeah, a lot of missed opportunities. Oh, not a lot. I think they did really well. Like overall, let, let me talk about it. Let me summarize that. Above average music, above average sound effects, above average um, in terms of graphics for this, how old the game is. Uh, I'll say above, definitely decent story. And I mean decent as a good decent, not like a crappy decent. Like It's definitely above average. I've always liked um, the story element in Dave Cage's game. Like even with Indigo Prophecy, as crazy as that game gets, I enjoyed that story back when it was released. And I definitely enjoyed this story. Like, like the near ending bit where it shows that Aiden is still there. That's kind of cool. I was really hoping that he's still around. 
even though she had lost the connection kind of thing. But also, um, Jody actually fighting this giant rift. Like, what's that about? Is that like hinting towards like a uh, Beyond Two Souls two? Or I really don't think there will be a Beyond uh, Beyond Two Souls two. But it's definitely something they could have played with, I reckon, and it would have looked interesting, like the end of it, end of the world scenario kind of thing. But we, I guess you kind of had that with the Black Sun, but it wasn't that it wasn't as a lot of a large scale. It's like kind of teasing you, which is kind of um, I don't think that's kind of nice. <laughs> ah, what else do we have? Uh, oh, we still have plenty. Of, did we do nine or did we do ten? Oh no, we did ten. Let's go eleven. Ah, the Somalia one. Yeah, so with this one. This is where the manipulation comes. So this was good backstory. There was conflict. Um, I think this is where the best conflict was uh, Somalia. See, that's a problem. Like I found, like each scenario, major scenario, there's really good components, and then the, it gets kind of lost in when you jump in back and forth, and that's a real shame. I reckon if they kept it, they would have had it for longer, and it would have been a lot more interesting. If they kind of, but also I don't want them to dilute it, and I reckon if they had to go the way that I wanted them to go, they would have had to spend another year or two, and by then I guess this game wouldn't be released. <laughs> but I really did like the component where you pick up the kid, and because as you pick up the kid, you you create an emotional bond, and then you find out that that his father is like one of the guard members. And it, and it really rips you. You're like, oh, damn it. I, this was a bad idea. And then you can slowly see the pieces coming together. Like, you've been sent there to kill somebody that has a family. And then it really hits you even harder when you're in the plane. Or the helicopter, I think. No, no, it was the plane. Yeah, in the plane. Where they actually say he was a democratically elected leader. And he was actually going to change the state of their... Um, civil war kind of thing like this terrible component and you just murdered like someone that was going to bring peace in this turmoil that was brilliant brilliant writing because it also reflects kind of like what we're living i guess the political landscape that we're living in currently as well and all the backroom dealings that that's been happening yeah Salim, that's what that was his name. Salim, that's it. Yeah, the child soldier. I think that I think this was one of the another key key moments in this game, which was extremely well done. And but the combat mechanic wasn't, I would say. Although it did remind me a lot of Metal Gear Solid, but because I played Metal Gear Solid, it doesn't compare anything to this. Like Metal Gear Solid clearly outranks that by a mile yeah so i think that's all i've got to say everything else is like pretty stock standard cliche components uh like bad bad leader etc etc other than that i think that's it wait did i just do that twice yeah they did wait I think that's Korean. And then you got Chinese on the side. <laughs> that's so weird. Anyways. Crazy game. I liked it. It's definitely worth uh, one playthrough. And if you haven't got it, yeah, definitely give it a shot. I enjoyed it a lot. Anyways, I think that's the end of my... Um, review of this game yeah the end of my review straight after finishing this game and that's what i think it is yeah definitely worth one playthrough definitely enjoy the game and as always take it easy until our next adventure i'll see you there thanks for watching